Hey everyone, once again this is Cruel Sentry. I wanted to kind of show off a few things here about uh, basically this whole setup. So this is actually the Millennium City Powerhouse and I haven't really shown everything. Now of course a lot of it doesn't really matter. We're probably never going to use a theater. This is basically where you were supposed to see the if I remember correctly, the explanations and such initially. Um, but yeah, there's nothing here. That's the gist of it. <laughs> uh, hey, we can even go back. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know they stuck a tailor back here. It's kind of cool. Anyways, um, moving on though. Let's go ahead and head back out of here. But I wanted to kind of show some of the areas I never really went in here. Um, and I wanted to take you through the respec process a bit. I will try to keep it from taking too long, but I already know what I'm doing, so that shouldn't be a problem. Alright, so... we got 24 players in there right now. It's a little crowded. I think 40 is the max in the, this zone. Uh, anyways... Um, it's not a big deal. Well, let's just kind of show off some things. Why don't we go ahead real quick... and talk to a... You're know, going to have to actually talk to a powerhouse trainer, not just click train, in order to remove powers. So the thing is, if I want to remove uh, Shadow Blast, I would have to pay for each and every one of these in order all the way up to Shadow Blast and get that rid of that one. And then I, at least I wouldn't have to get rid of Shadow Blast, but everything else. That's going to take a lot of money. Look at all that gold it's going to take at the end. Do I have enough? Absolutely I do. But it's a giant pain in the rear. On the other hand, I've got six retcons from wherever. So let's just do a quick like full retcon here. Reset from item in this case. Alright, now we already know some of it because it's the same old same old. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and train up. The first thing is we already know some of what we're going to do. Um, admittedly I didn't double check some of my powers but I know from experience what I'm gonna do. So because I get Intelligence and Presence with the Arcanus one, I'm going to use that for your innate talent. And then Primary Super Stat, what I believe was... Oh, dang. I don't remember. <laughs> Go figure. I think it was Presence is what we went for. That will add on to healing, crowd control, etc. Intelligence will help us with our discounts, stealth detection, energy costs, and supposedly pet damage. Whereas Presence supposedly affects pet health. Um... But they keep changing it. Like you see in here where it pops up in the black box over here, it says improves um, the health of heroes' pets, but doesn't say it in the shorthand here. I don't know if they removed it or not, because quite frankly, they never actually explained a lot of this stuff. Yeah, and this talks about the damage. But then again, if you go to Dexterity, let's see if that actually works it right. It's ego, is that actually still correct? Yeah, it says it helps determine the hero's critical hit severity, which it does not. They remo that was removed. So I don't know that this is actually going to be a big impact. A presence probably should be the primary anyways, just because, I mean, that's what's going to affect, like, my slotted passives and all that kind of stuff. Still one intelligence. And if we get ego, then we can use that to keep our damage output a little bit higher. And so it's not pitiful, basically. <laughs> Uh, we'll get to powers in a bit. Let's go for travel power. That's another one we know pretty solidly. We were using teleportation. Might as well keep it going. Uh, let me go ahead and minimize some of these other things so I can see it. Obviously, there's a lot of things. And like, for example, teleportation between these is almost the exact same thing. Let's go ahead. Now, some of those you have to earn through various methods. Some of them can be bought in the store, but to me, it's like, eh. I don't care that much. All right, specializations. We were doing fine with that. Uh, all right, so the offense option, offense for presence, offense from items adds to healing, and increased hold strength. So I think we were doing the healing. The others heals herself, and then if I do this, this repurpose helps to create those a little bit of extra bonus healing, which is good for what we're doing. All right, so we've got critical heals. Uh, secondary supersets increase critical chance, which isn't really going to help us much here. Um, you get some defense options here. 
and paralysis and sleep effects now lower the target's resistance by 5%, which is almost nothing. And, of course, we still have these other options we can still go for if we want. So... Even though it's not a lot, I'm going to go ahead and go for this. It's at least something. And, uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and grab this. That We could use a little bit of uh, power there. Let's go for Commander again. That's what we need, after all. And we'll just bump that up, and then that will eventually be up there at 50%, and that'll really help. Okay, so... Ranks and advantages are not going to get to yet until we get our powers. Talents we can do. We had intelligence, presence. We got an intelligence ego one. Intelligence presence. Being able to see the yellow and white coding does help to, to spot these pretty quickly, which ones you need. Um, here we go, ego and presence. And finally, command training. For all three of those. Alright, now we can get to the powers themselves. So, the first one is, we're still going for Shadow Bolt. It's still useful in its own right. However, do you have some changes to make? Uh, Darkness is specifically where I was going with a lot of this. So we're going to go ahead, though. I'm going to look at Unavailable as well, so we can see it correctly. Some of these are new. Dark Tether was, is new. Let's see, what does this actually say? Um... It's a knock two. That means it knocks them, instead of like knocking them back, knocking them upwards, knocking them down, it knocks them to you. It's like pulls them over to you and knocks them down at the same time. So I don't really have a need for that. We are going to grab Life Drain when we get a chance, and I've been ruined. Um, so Shadow Embrace, basically, if we go down and do the advanced description, it's got a 20% chance per tick of applying Feared, and it does more damage the longer you maintain it, you know, as far as the damage per tick. So you really need to uh, have a lot of endurance for that to work, and it's often not going to work. Some of them are interesting. Oh, here we go. Uh, Soul Vortex. It's a relatively new one, comparatively. It's a click. It's got a 14-second recharge right now. That's probably higher normally, but intelligence helps lower that. Um, those within it take 18-dimensional damage every second. Uh, it pulls them in, and they have 15% chance to be feared. Now, this takes almost no time, low energy cost. That might be good. Let's see what it said about advantages. Well, Soul Drain applies Dependency... Uh, let's see, what does Dependency do again? Dependency provides a small heal to whoever is closest to the target. Because after his own destination... I think it basically, uh, when the enemies are, like, at a certain point, it just, like, it expires and throws a heal out at you or something like that. Uh, anyway, it doesn't matter. But, um, it's a weird one. But this, we don't have to worry about maintaining it. It's a cheap energy cost, but you can only apply it once for a few seconds. But since that's more of what we're going to do, I think that's what we're going to actually go for in order to make this work. Shadow Eruption is new. Um, for me, anyways. I don't know. I haven't been keeping that much tabs on the newest updates. Looks like it's a big one. Um, dimensional damage. Knocks enemies away from you, so it's... It says range day away knockback, but it looks like it might be point blank. Um, and you can charge it up. With advantage, you can also cause it to stun enemies. With blood, work up. Applies restoration, you see heal over time. Interesting. Uh, heals for an additional amount if your health is low, so it can be used as a, a like an emergency heal. Short internal cooldown, though. Uh, drag back becomes a knock towards instead of a knock away, so good for if you want to be a melee guy. Pull them into your range and such. Um, devoid, which makes them more vulnerable to other attacks. Consume fear. Uh, char on full charge, consumes the fear of unaffected targets and does additional dimensional damage. And then some standard ones, but it looks like, yeah, it's it hasn't it doesn't say a range because it is point blank, but it's 25 foot sphere, so it's so big that they're going to go ahead and count it as uh, basically area of effect. All right, 
So here's another one. Shade Storm. Maintain. Dimensional damage over time. Apply Chance to apply fear. Uh, chance to knock down targets that are affected by fear. Um, you can cause it uh, fully maintained also stuns. And instead of knocking down, it can knock the targets up into the air, which is a little bit uh, more effective, actually. Uh, void Feast, uh, any fear targets you hit on you. Consumes fear stacks you have in targets and heals you for each one consumed. It's a life drain effect, so that'll get the bonus from, uh, like, you know, some of these powers. Not Shadow Shroud. There's another one that's in here I can't find, anyways. It doesn't matter. Anyways, the thing is, there's some pretty cool stuff here. So, yeah. Alright. Um, so, I'm not going to be using those, but that's just to give you an idea. There are some cool powers out there. Um, we're definitely going for a pet build still, though. Oh, here we go. That was what I was going to say. So it's a slotted passive. It boosts your damage like normal. You would expect. It also has aggression, stealth, so perception, stealth. Basically makes it so it's harder for enemies to see you. But it also gives you a little bit of a lifesteal attack on there. I think if you go for the celestial one, you can also grab uh, extra healing. Uh, compassion we definitely already had. I want to keep that going. Ebon Void we already had. Let's keep that going. We can hold off on Spirit Reverberation for now. Uh, let's see, how far are we into this? We still need Soul Vortex. Okay, that's interesting. It says three non-energy builder powers. Let's see, we have one and two, and I thought we had a third. I guess not. Alright, how many powers do we have left to choose? Five. Well, I don't want to mess this up, so... Gotta be careful here. Ah, right. So, let's see. See, what this is, if you hit use dimensional damage against the target that's feared, which can even include your energy builder, uh, you'll get energy. It can only happen once every three seconds, but it's a good way to bring it back. And these are all, like, big things. Um, ultimate powers, off these. some of these can only be found in, like, a logbox or something, so they can basically get more money out of you. Honestly, it's not worth it. Just saying. But whatever. To each their own. So let's go ahead and see at this point if we have enough for any pets. I don't think we do. Let me go ahead. We're not using close attack, so I can close those down. So we have a lot. Actually, let me go ahead and go straight to Gadgeteering and make it easier. We already have a form that to toggle on, so we don't need that. Let's take that back up in its little corner. I normally keep it. That leaves this. All right, so we do need more powers out of here. Come to think of it, ah, oh, life drain. This is the same boat. I still can't get it. Darn it. Okay. Um. Well, I think what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and grab this one. I would have wanted to get it eventually, so I'm just gonna grab it sooner rather than later. And then we can still start grabbing these other options. Um, including Life Drain. And Soul Vortex. So now we can quickly apply that. Let's get back over, get our pets, including the most important ones. The mission spots are going to be major damage dealers now. We had one other pet, the Frost Guy. We can still go with that. They have other options too. No point in changing it, it still works. And the Frost Guy, the Arctic Beast, will eventually have some good area of effect potential, so might as well. Um, let's go ahead and grab that. Okay, now let's go ahead and move these over to where we had them before. So, just charge that up real quick. I knew I was forgetting something. I knew it. <laughs> I knew there was something I was forgetting. Alright, so we're going to have to undo the Arctic Beast and pick him back up later. I thought that there was an extra power and that I should I should be missing something. But I couldn't figure out what it was. Thankfully, it's free until you actually leave this area. Like, entirely leave the powerhouse, not just go to another part. Uh, what, of course, I forgot is our, our slotted passive, which is our uh, Radiant Protection. Okay, so we'll have to re-pick up the, uh, the pet later.
It's unfortunate, but at least we'll finally be able to do a proper setup here with our healing and such. So, I'm glad for that much. Okay, let's go to ranks and advantages. Uh, now, if we choose this, all of the attacks have a chance to apply fear, not just one, and decreases their dodge chance. That is an option. This option makes our um, our shield basically grow over time if we're continuing to block for a long time, taking lots of hits. Uh, vampiric Sympathy is really important, so we definitely want that one. And we found that we did need to rank that up. Uh, Soul Vortex, we can give it the dependency, but I don't think we really need to right now. Oh, hey, this has 35% chance of being feared, 25%? Yeah, I'm ranking this up. Because this will really help apply the fear faster. Alright, so we definitely need our mission spots up there. That really makes a big impact. And we don't need compassion. We don't need to teleport, but we can. We definitely need our radiant protection. I think that's going to be it. Alright. So, let's go ahead. One more thing we got to do here is just to set the colors and any other options such as I can't remember which one, I think we went through 3B which is the third rank 3 blue we'll have to pick up the pet again later the pet that we grabbed but at least we have enough powers now we should be able to keep our endurance pretty high which is really important alright now that said Let's go ahead. I want to see what's down here. Proceed to arenas. I don't think they're... I think the arena's like a PvP area that's like never used. I mean, I notice it said zero players, so... Let's see. Yes, if I go to arena four, what happens? Pretty much nothing? Yeah, thought so. Anyways, it doesn't really matter. But, the thing is, it's there. I did want to show something else entirely, though. Now, what's this? Is this like a trainer? Yeah, okay. So, that being said, what we're going to do... Oh, might as well just return to the lobby instead of pressing, you know, waiting for it to be ready. When I, you know, why go down the hallway when I can already go through there? It's not going to help. Uh, this time, anyways. Need to double check Is that. Yeah, okay. For a moment, it looked like I may have lost my uh, little big glowy ring. Little big, real descriptive. <laughs> anyways, the big glowing rings around him as they kind of float there. Let's go ahead and resummon the pets. Let's see. Yeah, that does look pretty similar to how they were. And we can show off a little bit of what we can do here. Um. There we go. These guys are level 20. Head. Your bot's going here. Then I can just tap the two and it's already going. There we go. Now we got a fear effect on him. Didn't have it immediately, but it did pretty quickly. And so that's where it can be really handy to get that on there. And it's already ready to be able to fire off that power again. So that's actually pretty good. This is how you can test the very basic functions, of course. I don't have a lot. I can block, I can lifesteal, and I can use that big little turn. Big little again. <laughs> the tornado, <laughs> basically. <laughs> so that's kind of interesting. Um, not a whole lot, but that's because I got pets and are doing a lot of it. Now, you can also, as I believe I've mentioned before, you can go over here. And you can also test things out. You know, like, there's a moving target. There's an area where you can take a hit and see what how much damage you're taking, how well you can block it, etc., etc. I'm going to go to the battle station. You can also do mobility testing if you want to test out your travel powers and make sure it's what you actually wanted and so forth. Okay. Let's go for Psy. We've been fighting a lot of Psy lately. Go for hard... And I'm going to go for team size 3. This should be a pretty challenging fight. But, let's see how it works. If I get flattened in seconds, then I'll turn it down, but... I'm 
curious to see if we can actually do this. Okay. Let's so see which attacks come in. So you do a lot of life stealing. Um. <laughs> having troubles trying to get that off just because everyone was dying so fast, which is good. Alright, so I get up to here. Whoops. Got hit there. And then I can fire up another one of these and get some more life steal out of them. So that's great. Gotta make sure they aren't able to do anything to me though. Okay. See, that is a lot better than I had before, actually. That is a lot better. That's very interesting. So hard just means they're a little bit higher level. See, they're set to be one level above me, 22, and I'm 21. And easy would have been one level below me. And it's set for uh, basically three encounters in one type thing. Okay, I'll have to block for a bit because I can see that there's... So incoming attacks we can't see very well. There we go. Oh. Held. Not what I wanted. Okay. Apply that fear effect so we can get our full healing out. Yeah, the healing is much, much stronger right now. So that is the kind of thing that it's good to know about. And yeah, sure, we don't get any experience, but it gives a little bit different fight for each one of these. See, like, there's an agent in this one that wasn't the first. So, the first one is generally more of just like a swarm of minion type thing with very little stronger opponents. This one tends to be more towards a fewer number of stronger opponents. And I think we get more of a, a higher number of the mid-range opponents with the one over in that corner over there that we'll get to in a minute. Uh, I think I'm going to hold back on some of this. Placate. Oh right, they used to placate on one of the bots to avoid being hit. Makes sense. Alright, which is part of why the damage output dropped. Alright. So let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and get our soul vortex thing going. Actually looks pretty cool, honestly. <laughs> okay. Try to get over to where I've got a little something going here. Let me throw another one of these out there, now that it's recharged. Should help to apply the fear effect more. That is actually the rank 3 version, admittedly. Because I did rank it up right away, which I did because we needed it. Uh, specifically, we needed the ability to apply that pretty quickly. So, yeah, we're, we, this is actually pretty good. Now, you can go up to team size 5, and I didn't because I didn't think it would be worth it. Uh, the risk, anyways. And if I can do this, then I am definitely fully ready for anything I would normally run through. I mean, unless I'm trying to, like, solo a five-man dungeon, I'm going to be good. <laughs> so, yeah. And yes, I have soloed five-man dungeons before. Um, it's a giant pain in the rear. <laughs> I was a little bit over-leveled, though. Just, like, maybe about three to five levels, I think it was about somewhere around there. So it's not like it was without, uh, you know, some extra power, but I was playing one of my characters and I you know, soloed the, uh... It's one in the Millennium City. Big old factory. Don't want to give away, of course, much about it. Anyways, I think we can sufficiently say that that's working pretty well, so let's go ahead and move on. Exit the powerhouse. Okay. So that being said, that is, of course, um... A respec. That took a while, so I am going to go ahead, I think, we should probably call it here, <laughs> give you guys a little bit of a breather between videos. I hope you're all having fun out there, and I think next time I'll just meet you over by our, uh, where we can turn in some of our missions here, alright? I'll see you all then.